We all know how important having a strong credit score is. It's going to stay with you for the rest of your life and impact what your interest rate is and whether you get approved to purchase a home altogether. So I want to go over seven steps to help you develop a strong credit score. Number one, pay your bills on time. Payment history is the single biggest factor that affects your credit scores. Contact your creditor if you're 30 days delinquent or more and try to see if there's anything that you can do to prevent them from reporting. And remember, every month that an account is marked delinquent, it hurts your credit score. So you want to try to stay on top of this. Number two, make frequent payments. So rather than making a payment at the end of the month, I would recommend making a payment weekly or every five days or so. This is supposed to help your credit utilization rate. So credit utilization rate is how much credit do I have allotted and how much credit am I using? So if you have $10,000 of credit allotted to you, but you're only using $3,000 of it, you're at 30% credit utilization rate. So you want to stay 30% or lower. So this is why making micro payments will prevent you from having higher credit utiliza utilization rates because you're not waiting till the end of the month. Number three, ask for higher credit limits. So this is also going to help your credit utilization rates. So let's just say you have $10,000 in total credit available, but you get approved for five more, then that's $15,000. And if you're still at $3,000 that you're using, you're well within the 30% range that most uh, creditors are looking for. Remember, if your income increases, your chances uh, being approved will increase as well. Number four, become an authorized user. So if you have a friend or a relative with a long record of credit history and have a high credit limit, ask if you could be added onto their account. This is going to help you tremendously because you get to reap the benefits of their credit history. It helps lower your credit utilization rate. And the best thing about it is you don't even need to use the credit card or that account that's tied to it or the card that's tied to that account. Number five, use a secured credit card. So this is for people that don't have any credit. This is what I did when I first started developing credit. So rather than going to the bank and requesting a credit card, you it's backed by a cash deposit. So you give them $500, they give you a $500 credit card, and then you start to develop credit that way. And then that way, if you ever default, they have the money already. You just wanna make sure that the secured card reports to all three credit bureaus, right? TransUnion, Equifax, Experian. Number six, keep credit cards open. So this is going to help your credit utilization rate. If you close an account, then it, close, then it lowers the amount of total credit that you have available. And it also can affect your credit history. So you wanna make sure that the account that you had the longest, you keep open, because that's the one that they're gonna base off of your credit history. Number seven is to mix it up. So you want a good mix of installment accounts and revolving credit. So an installment account is like those that have monthly payments, car loans, student loans, whereas revolving credit is credit cards that, that the monthly payments go up or down depending on how much you're using it. And this shows creditors that you know how to handle different types of credit and it's going to help your credit score as well. So these are seven steps that you can take to improve your credit score and help you develop a strong one so you can get the best interest rates, get approved for your home, and finally be living the life that you've always wanted to. Again, this is Anthony. If you have any questions, just let us know. And as always, take care and stay safe.